everyone. Welcome back to another Epic Beer Bros. Uh, bang, guys, bang, it's, bang. It's been months since we played this game. I don't remember how to play it. <laughs> I don't know that we were very clear on that from the beginning, but I do know that we need to find some bombs. You know what? It's yes. immersive, because now you can be just as hot-brained as Cisco here. God damn it! Where are those bombs? I mean, now you're just Audrey Hepburn, man. <laughs> Which I would watch. <laughs> Like Gerard said, we're the Beard Bros. No, this isn't a series, despite the number of episodes we've done. This is Effort Beard Bros, the show where one of y'all, yeah. specifically, oh, oh specifically oh. someone named Casey Wood oh. when it comes to this oh. game, pays us exorbitant amounts of money to play Thank this old-ass video game over <laughs> Punch Lobot and over dick. again. Casey Wood, once again, thank you very much for paying for this. Hello! And once again, thank you guys for joining Goodbye. us for another episode. It's hot brain Cisco time. Let's do it. The Federation hat dance. <laughs> Shout outs to Listen for low poly. It. Low poly. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, no poly. poly. <laughs> no poly Dax in the corner. <laughs> MS paint Dax. It's weird because I feel like Dax's character out of all the characters probably would be a little poly. You never know. It's super poly. Yeah. Guys, I don't remember how to play this game. Gotta get them bams. We're just you gotta get bombs gotta and throw them in the trash. For the bams. Remember that? Like uh S scan for the bams you, and trash okay. the bams. I don't you're, you're, so yeah, yeah, yeah. look for the red points on your mini map. Oh, never mind. There it is. So now you gotta look for a disposal Boom. unit on the wall. Yeah. Now I just gotta throw it in the trash. They look like little uh sparkly boys on the wall. So as I edited this, mm -hmm. I actually made some maps of these. You made maps? I made some maps. You made <laughs> maps? They look Don't make really fun bad. of me. That's ridiculous. They they, they they look really bad, but <laughs> I can help. I think they can help. All right. For those of you who don't know, that's Ted talking. He's the producer of this show. And what he's <laughs> produced is what, what I'm hearing are some crudely drawn, like, <laughs> maps of what? This whole area? Yeah. The equivalent of like mashed potato mountain in in uh, <laughs> Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but just the inside of the depths of the Deep Space Nine space station. Well, Ted, so, why? I want to know why did you do this? Uh, because I I felt it was going to be a long time before we recorded this again. <laughs> for for, just for what purpose exactly? To guide us. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let oh, well, there it is. To guide us. Uh, to guide you guys if you needed. Oh, okay. Well, I, yeah. I guess that's like a Gerard question then, right? So I will I say, mean, in general, like <laughs> bomb lower left, bomb upper left, then upper right, and like mid right, and then you have to like. You're gonna post a picture of this for the people to see at home, right? Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. There, but you are gonna bunch, post a picture. There's a bunch of whiteout marks. <laughs> when you I was used like, whiteout? Oh, Ted, nice. I haven't used whiteout in 30 years. <laughs> okay. Where did you get it? Did you have to dig out a time capsule from under the ground? Yeah, just I just got a shovel. <laughs> yeah, she so went back went in outside. time. To some like girl named Aaron's pencil box, and like, oh, perfect, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Mickey Dolan's <laughs> mom made that? So, I'm sorry. You know Mickey Dolan's from the Monkees. Go on, go on. Yeah, uh, his mom is the inventor of uh, White, White Out. Out. Really? Isn't that weird? I think it's Mickey they got Dolan's. That, they got that oh, White could Out be money. Yeah. Could be David Jones. Can't remember if it's David Jones or Mickey Dolan's. That's still crazy. Wow. Yeah. One of those monkeys. One of them monkeys made the wide out. What are those monkeys? So Look basically, what the, you've done. Mm -hmm. the only bomb that is ba is not right next to a trash can is the upper left one. Got it. So I guess save that one. Maybe do that one first. Because it's the most dangerous one. And then I wrote bees oh. for Bajorans. <laughs> yeah. You wrote B for Bajorans. Bajorans. I love it. <laughs> I love that they look like off-market Lobots. I can't believe you've done this, Ted. I can't believe it. 
If I had a nickel. Yeah. It's, it seems like a Bradley thing to do. You know what I mean? I had a nickel for every time I heard someone say that? No! <gasps> I made Whoa. naps. Good things his his fingertips oh are bionic. Oh my god. You're the greatest gamer. Fucking, uh, what's his name from Third Rock from the Sun shows mm. up. He's like, ha ha ha, John Lithgow. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. There we go. There's my no, cliffhanger I'm joke, you guys. No, I the stage! A half, We're almost a there, Drew. We're dream almost there. Of a oh, joke. what a bum. Yeah, I remember there was a way you could just go down when you're standing on a ledge. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, do a little... There you go. Yeah, you can, like, drop. This is more than Avery Brooks has ever run on the show. <laughs> it's true. It's <laughs> getting a workout. Uh -huh. I apologize. Oh like, my <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus uh -huh. Christ. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm going to go over to your house. We're going to watch Deep Space Nine. And I'm like, oh, that's your problem. You've got rabbits living in your speakers. That's why he sounds like that, Alex. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he sounds like that. He sounds like a Shakespearean fucking king. <laughs> Captain well, Sisko is my favorite Shakespeare Captain. king. Did you say Kevin Sisko? <laughs> I said Captain Sisko. I heard Kevin Sisko. <laughs> James, I heard, James I heard Sisko. Kevin as well. <laughs> Robert James Sisko is my favorite captain oh, on the Deep shit. Space Nine. Oh, man. The Deep Space Nine. Your Cisco impression. <laughs> you catch me off guard every time. It's like Dudley Do Right. <laughs> oh, yes, it no. is. We have to stop the Bajoran. <laughs> <laughs> he sucked me Jesus. in my balls. It's incorrigible. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I, I love that he just jogs at like a. Fucking Nike Apple mm, like mm, Fitbit commercial like, pace. Not sprinting for his <laughs> life, but you know, he's moving. No. Tom Cruise like Tom Cruise in media rest, like doing his morning mm, running mm. jog as a government employee in a movie. Yeah, he chooses, you know, he, he can chooses, run fast, but you, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you know. He chooses yeah, not to. He's giving you he a says, six. you know what, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, Benjamin Sisko, the same thing. Yeah, you know what? I'll take my time. I take my time. I need exercise, but not that much. You sound like a toothpaste-based superhero. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of take the plaque and put it yeah. back what? in the trash. With the power of Crest toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. The power of Crest compels you. Will you do, hit me, do me a favor. Will you do your wharf impression real quick? Captain. <laughs> like much more accurate. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no, it's not rabbits in your speakers. I don't know what it is, dude. Listen, you just you just gotta step back and look at Benjamin Zisco, man. He is acting his heart out. Did you we know? did we do this? And honestly, he yells so much less than Captain Picard does. You know, this is the fifth what? one, right? I'm not sure. I'm not been counting. I've been talking about Benjamin Sisko's voice and how good I am at doing it. Jesus, this is like the new T'Challa. <laughs> they they said they might uh, recast T'Challa, so maybe I uh, nuts 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 nuts. Maybe I should throw my proverbial hat into the ring, gonna, if you if you will. They're gonna go back in time and cast Nelson Mandela. <laughs> this comic book must be adapted. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry Farrell. We love She's you. Like, we miss you. I'm watching this, and you're welcome, guys. <gasps> All right, okay. this next section, you got to be very careful. This, I hate are this you, Are you going to explain why? Bajoran right away. There's a lot of falls to your death all the time. <laughs> Bajoran right away. That should be like the fucking subtitle of this game. Bajoran right away is the name of like the alt-right movement on the planet Bajor. <laughs> <laughs> Bajoran right away. They have like the <laughs> they have like the syntax of like a '90s fucking soccer mom or something. <laughs> Bajoran right away. Okay, I'm missing a bomb. I only counted four. Oh, that's funny to me. You're killing it, Gerard. Keep up. Keep up. Keep keep the course. Ah! Fuck. That's okay. 
I actually denoted that as the dead jump. Oh, so you and your whiteout, you knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You're drawing like the opening page of the Hobbit, you a little map whiteout. with all the little places on it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. Is there somewhere where this is? Can you put a picture yeah. of it in the chat, please? Uh, Thank you. Tattle's going to yes. be like two moments of silence and then no. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Back at it again. Trying to trying to find the bombs. All right. So Ted posted this. Hold on. I want to look at it. Where did you post this? It's in the Beard Bros chat. <laughs> I love that next to one of the maps, there's like big capital letters that say not super accurate, <laughs> which I mean, is is I mean, it is that is accurate. And it's also very a Ted thing to say, how like did you it make totally this, has Ted, Ted like, syntax. Like now that you guys at home can see this, how did you make this? Like, did you rewatch the episodes we've done and just like track it? Well, yeah, I watched the. Uh, for the edit. I marked what the topmost floor was and what the bottommost floor was and tried to count them. And I kept I mean, messing Jesus up. So Christ. and then, so and then the you input it into a load runner level editor. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking graphed it. You have like numbers on the side to denote the floors and shit, man. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part is There's effort. on room two, it's floor one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. And uh, the, the eight <laughs> is just super skinny. I love your eight. <laughs> like, you didn't have enough room to give it a full eight, so it's like, yeah. Eight. Yeah, that's exactly how it's an eight. 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 <laughs> that is an All right, eight. back to the game. Oh, boy. How you doing, Gerard? I'm doing okay. Feeling pretty hot right now? You, you feeling, feeling on? Uh, I'm just, you know, just learning the game all over again. We haven't played it in, like, three months, so... It should... Fired up. Don't forget that this Try is your empty hand. Can you like can you like zap the Bajorans too? Mm, that doesn't really vibe with the the Bajorans right away. I thought they gave you a phaser. He just stands there. He's just like looming there, waiting in the hallway to hit you. What do you expect? Uh, uh, he's just, look at him. He's just sitting there waiting. Him. He can hear you. He's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm doing nothing. I'm just going to waste a calories. I know where you are, emissary. I, I know hear you. where you are. There we go. But you're in right away. will definitely be number one soon. Mark my words. Bajor for Bajorans. Make Bajorans a Bajora again. <laughs> Bajorative. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> Bajorative. What the fuck are you guys saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it seems wacky, but if you watch Deep Space Nine, that's pretty much what's going yeah, on. That plot happens at least twice across the series, for sure. That premise. Yeah, first season, the school gets bombed. It's pretty metal. Yeah. That's why that's why Deep Space Nine is tight. Cause schools get bombed. Beard bros. Everything I love is about bombing no. schools. Super beard Alex bros. Bajiani. Bajor for Bajorans. Tenth anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alex Fasciani. <laughs> Tenth anniversary for of beard bros. Bomb the schools. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, beard bros use. Hi, uh, Alex Fasciani here, uh, Bajor for Bajorans. Quick question for Captain Sisko. Uh, are these bombs going to be going to school? All right, thank you guys for coming. I just want to make sure, uh, you know, everybody knows I appreciate you being here at the G4 panel here at uh, E3. Uh, first question. <laughs> Hi, Gerard. Um, I appreciate everything that uh, you've done. Uh, real quick question. Did you guys intend for um, the Beard Bros to become like a hardcore alt-right channel as soon as you left? You know, did Not G4? at all. Not at all, Brett. That was a... <laughs> A pure How accident. Did you know it was where <laughs> 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 I don't really want to talk to Alex about it, but he's kind of getting scary. Like I'm contractually obligated to like continue doing it with him, but I thought maybe you could talk. Thank to you him. for talking to me at this press Gerard's conference. Like, What's that? Nope, sorry, I can't do it. I'm, I'm I gotta go to G4. I gotta go. 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 <laughs> Just see if he does. <laughs> see if he wants to let go. <laughs> he tried to jump. Jordan's like. I see you. I'm out, Bajor. 
Just he had to go right in your. He could give him a stink meter right in your chest. He's like, yeah, what oh, are you I doing, see. human? Hanging oh, emissary. Like a globus monkey. I thought I'd find you here. I'll, I'll wait, wait for you. <laughs> I don't know why it's brain from Peaky in the brain. Mm, yes. Maurice, <laughs> Maurice LaMarche. <laughs> mm, yes. I yes, see Binky. you hanging there, emissary. Look at the way that he runs, Pinky. <laughs> Kinda, it kind of sounds like Captain Benjamin Sisko. Shut up! Oh, shut, shut up. <clears throat> can we just take... Hold on. Can we just... Zo Ted, for me, zoom in on that guy's <sighs> face in the floor. <laughs> you, can, you can't tell he him is, to zoom in. Is, it's going to look like a peanut no, butter cookie. He is no longer... He is no longer... <laughs> it looks like when they uh, fixed that painting. Man, I wish we could have gotten Terry Farrell for this entire series, and like once per oh episode, she just reveals something, something like, <laughs> like no one knows about. <laughs> you're gonna say you know once I mean? per episode, she leaves the cast because she's offended. There it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, like, like episode one, she's like, oh yeah, by the way, nobody knows this, but like, Michael Dorn uh, drinks a full glass of whole milk every day. No, you know what I mean? Oh like, my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, I want that kind of stuff. He would, like, fall from grace in my mind if I'd learned that. Are you kidding me? I'd appreciate him all the more. He can, like, down a whole glass of milk and still do his thing. It's like, if me? you found out that I, like... I don't even know. I don't even know what's, like, equal to that. Downing the equal, equal to downing a whole glass of milk is, like, I eat five, I five apples a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want a head left? Well, that's cool. No, no, no. Yeah, head left, go up a few fours, and then make your way right. Oh, there you go. No, no, you're good. You're good. Dick punch. Not punch. Not punch. Not punch. Not punch. Not punch. Dick it's punches. my Sunday best. <laughs> up one, all the way right. Thank you, Ted. Wait, up one, and then all the way right. Down one. Down. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Down one. You got this. Huh. Down one. <sighs> nice. Ted's like the computer. So helpful. Nice. How many more bombs on this uh, area? I'm missing one, but I know there's one at the topmost floor. Let's do it. We only got two more minutes left, so we're probably gonna die this round. But at the very least, you're getting better. Say, nah, nah, this. nah, 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 nah. This is it. <clears throat> also, nah, nah, nah. Where's the elevator this for this it. level? We really need it. The Oh, dick, oh, punch, oh, dick, oh, punch, oh, dick punch! Dick oh, punch! Dick punch! Dick punch! Dick punch! That's my chest, it's, you asshole! Ugh. It's my Sunday best. <laughs> Captain That's Cisco not my dick. loves playing Marvel vs. Capcom. They actually used ah! him as the voice of Iron Man in that show, in that game. <sighs> I believe in you, baby. I think that Let's was your only way you. up. Let's get this money, Gerard. Bam! 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 Oh baby, blah, 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 blah. I wish I could. I wish the jump button just pulled me up because I have to like jump and press up at the same time, which is not great. Wait, when Wait. you're like hanging? Yeah, like Ugh. when I'm jumping, I, I have to like. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. Hey, hold on. Oh, it automatically does it. Oh, okay, all right, never mind. That makes it easier. All right, all right. Shout out to all games on Super Nintendo that look like this. There were a lot of them. Yeah. Beautiful. My buddy decided he's gonna finish every SNES game oh. in North America. Oof. No, he's not. Many. How many are there? Eight, about 800. How many? Man, okay. maybe less. Maybe Tell less. Tell your buddy he's dead. <laughs> I don't know that much about SNES games, so like that goal Tell sounds buddy, doable. He but it does remind me of this post that I read once where someone's like, well, everybody on Dude. Reddit, I did it. I read every single Marvel comic there ever was this past year. And immediately people were like, like, what? No, you didn't. Impossible. Fuck you this past year. <laughs> In a year? year? No. This no, past year, every Marvel comic? And there's like a thousand issues of just the Avengers. Like, yeah, you're, no, you didn't. That's insane. That's crazy. What are you talking <laughs> about? And it, I think if it came out that like the person like kind of just like, like, Skimmed through everything. I saw every picture. 
Right. I clapped eyes on every panel of Marvel Comics on my iPhone. You know, I used to make fun of David Lynch, but now I kind of agree with him. When he said what? He's like, everybody thinks they've seen a movie on their fucking iPhone, but they haven't seen shit. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I'm turning into that guy. It's a pretty... I'm mad at everything. I'm I like to think that I'm... I like to think that I'm, like, a chill guy, and, it like, but I think transhumanism is where people are gonna start to, like, start to lose me, or I'm gonna feel Despite like a Despite how dummy. fascinating I find that topic, I have no idea how you got on that topic from what we were just talking about, uh, but alright. Just, you know, old, being old, feeling old. Mm. Like, I was watching Keanu, and he was talking, sitting around talking about mm -hmm. The Matrix. He's talking about, he's, like, explaining the plot of The Matrix to, like, a oh. teenager who's, okay. like, 13. He's saying, like, hey, like, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, this guy, Thomas Anderson, who's, like, a hacker, and he finds out that the world that he's in is not the real world, mm. and that there is this other real world that he can get to, and he's got to fight for the human right to right. live in the real world. And the kid, he's, like, he's telling the story to him, and the kid just asks him, like, why? <laughs> Real world sucks? Is that what and, he meant? And Keanu's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You don't care that what you see is real? And the kid's like, no. <laughs> okay, two things. Number one, that might just be like like teenage 13-year-old kid trying to be like, you know, I don't care about anything. We've all gone through that phase. That could be that. Number two. Number 100%. two. Even if that's not the case. I've talked to plenty of people who, like, you know, when they come across the cypher steak scene who are like, oh, my God, yes, put me back in. I'm like, even if you knew that it wasn't real, you wouldn't want to, like, fight to make the world better. You wouldn't you would want to go back in. They're like, yes. So, like, and I don't agree with that. That's not me. But, like, I like that doesn't seem like a new person sentiment. That doesn't seem like a young person sentiment. I Well, I think e e e that point of view, uh, somebody who agrees with cypher, you're still coming from mm -hmm. a place of, like, you know, you still sort of agree with me about the value of the real world, except you, you're more like, look, if the real world is fucked, then obviously I would rather just is that not what leave the that shitty world and be in the good Matrix world. But mm -hmm. in the in the way that he was describing it, he makes it seem like the kid, like, like he doesn't even he doesn't see the generic like intrinsic like value the same. of something being real or what fake from a cultural perspective at all. I ran out yeah. of time. No way, bro. Oh. All right, let's try yeah, one more time. One more time. You were on it. That I was. was it. I was. I was. I felt good. Yeah. And then I wasn't. You got this. You're becoming more and more comfortable with the second room. Like you're getting. You're getting. Yeah. It. I mean, the kid that Keanu was talking about just made me think that that's a type of thinking that you know eventually I'm gonna have to like sort of accept from people, and that's gonna. That's. Mm -hmm. I, I. I'm an accepting person. I don't really care what other people think, what people do. I think everybody should do what they need to do to be happy. But you know, I can. I can see that it's coming down the pipes, and it's gonna be something where I'm not gonna be able to get with you mm -hmm. on it. Maybe mm -hmm. from a fundamental place. I'm gonna have a problem with it, but you know, I you, can should, understand you should it. enjoy it. Like, I just don't think that that sentiment is new. Like, I think there's tons of people today who have given the choice would prefer to live in a virtual utopia or maybe even a yeah. virtual comparable world to ours, except that they look the way they want to look or, uh oh, Care Bears are real. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that like I agree with that you can be whoever you want to be. Sure, it's it's to me it's just the idea that there's no value to the real world uh, being real. That's crazy to me. Yeah, I, I mean like to each their own. But like, if someone said I don't understand how anyone can value living in the real world, then I'd be like, then think a little harder. Like you know, try well, empathize. Yeah, I mean, but I think the thing that's obvious to me about that might not be so obvious to somebody uh -huh, who's thirteen uh -huh. right now. Like when you were born, I, I've been doing beard bros for like. 10 years almost right. i mean 13 mm -hmm. years that's not that long ago like you 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 have grown up in a in a society with the iphone and twitter all this stuff like you're the whole time you were alive you have a different totally like different yep. relationship with those spaces so. than somebody like me who didn't even get a you're cell phone until right. like i was 18. what does cisco think about it i never even had a cell phone 
Dick Punch, Dick Punch. It's my son named Dick Punch. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back to Star Trek, there is a guy that was Lieutenant Barkley. That guy loved to live in the fucking virtual space. Like a guy who was addicted to being in the holodeck. And not even for the reasons that all you horny motherfuckers out there in the comments are thinking, but like. Oh, I'd be the horny motherfucker in the comments. I That'd mean, be we me all, for sure. like, every teenager would be. We get it. Like, you know, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. But l- even me, a teenager. This is like a fucking 30 oh, something year old man who, Dick like, punch. Dick punch. lived in the holodeck because he couldn't handle, like, uh, you know, interpersonal relationships because he was nervous all the time. And so, da bam, da bam, yeah, da bam, that was me and COVID. Da bam, da bam. All right, now we go into the real fucking stage, part two of this. The boss Here stage. We, go, we got that. We got the sick maps. But Joel, right Ted. away. <laughs> Ted just but, like gave a dog whistle but, to the Bajoran right away group. Bajoran right away. <laughs> oh my God! Please, <laughs> their dog whistle is their name. <laughs> yeah, they just say it. Yeah, you know, right you know nobody. It's fanfic, you know. So no. Right, you know, right, right. Oh, oh, punching him in the top of his shoulder. Dick punch. To death, bro. <laughs> That's two, huh? Hi, Gerard. Um, thanks for asking, yes. answering my question. Um, I, I was just, you know, I want to say congratulations on G4 and everything, but I was oh, wondering you, if, are you going to like... Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, Dredd. Uh, no, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your question? What was your question? Yeah, no, it's just my question was, um, can you stop Alex from DMing me on Twitter because I'm a transhuman? Like, like, like a, like I'm, like I'm a robot person. Real, can you stop that, real. Yeah, my, all my DMs just say real. Send real in <laughs> DM to Brett all the time. Real, 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 real power. Real. Speaking of speaking of real power, oh. guys, it's the end of the episode. We appreciate you watching. Oh god! Thank you for being here. What a bleak uh, future that exists for all of us. <laughs> guys, speaking of which, check out The Matrix Awakens. It's amazing on PS5. <laughs> super fun stuff. Uh, what's the name of the movie? Resurrections. Resurrections. This is a brand deal for The Matrix Resurrections, uh, the movie, check it out, December 22nd in theaters and on HBO Max. I actually don't know if it's coming out on HBO Max, don't forget about that, it's not a brand deal, this is a joke, shout out to Casey, Casey Wood. thank you again for supporting you this bonkers ass idea, and we're not even done, there will be another one of no. these. Well, we'll get there someday. <laughs> uh, more Cis- than one. Cisco, Hot Brain Cisco will more get than through one. this, okay? This is probably the last level of the game, I would have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other game after this. Yeah. Thanks for watching, we'll everybody. Bye. 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 Peach. Beach.